<laughs> We're getting our day started today with some great balance and stability work, but you know that I'm coming at you with a uh, total body uh, workout here. We've got some kneeling. So if you need to grab a pillow, grab a yoga mat or a blanket to put under those knees, um, get lightweight bands and dumbbells. And we are going to challenge a total body as well as that heart and really feel that core work and really feel those glutes work as we push that balance. I'm gonna get that timer started. We're starting off on the floor with the hamstring kicks. So you're gonna start off just lying on that back, feet straight out in front of you, bend that right knee, wrapping that left hand across the front and back side of that leg. And then you're going to kick that right foot as if you're kicking a ball over that left shoulder. Big squeeze on the front of that leg and trying to keep those hips flat on the floor and that foot relaxed. All right, so super important just because if you flex that foot, you may feel a bigger stretch. That's really just extending and stretching that sciatic nerve and we don't wanna make those nerves angry, right? We don't wanna get on our nerves. So down, big kick up, squeezing the front of that thigh, big stretch down the outside back of that leg and then relax and bend that knee again. All the movement is just coming from that knee I want a big squeeze and hold at the top, hold it for that four count, and then a nice slow back down. All right, switch sides, left leg up, right leg wrapping across the front and grabbing the outside back of that leg. And then you're kicking that left leg as if you're kicking a ball over that right shoulder. Beautiful, hips are flat on the floor. Belly buttons pulled in because we don't want that back arching. Big kick and squeeze, hold it up there, enjoy that stretch. Nice, slow back down. All right, and hopefully what you're feeling is the more that you do these, the more repetitions you get in, or if you've been working with me for a while, the less you're feeling that stretch down the outside back of that leg. That's a good thing. That means that those hamstrings are getting less and less angry. And that's fabulous. That helps our glutes work helps that lower back, helps any kind of uh, pelvis position. Five more seconds and we're rolling to our side and we're gonna do a sideline leg raise. Roll over, bottom leg is gonna be bent, make a nice straight line. And you're gonna lift that top leg up and slightly back. All right, so I'm gonna turn so you can see my foot position up and slightly back. My hips stay stacked on top of each other. My belly button stays pulled in. You should feel this all along the glutes and along the side of that hip. You want those toes to stay pointed straight ahead. If you feel like you're rotating those hips up towards the ceiling, go ahead and do these up against a wall, all right? Or a couch, just push that heel into that couch, push that wall away to activate the, the glutes. But just lifting that leg up is going to really work. That infamous side butt, which we are turning on so that we can really help foot position and knee position and work on that balance. Five more seconds and we're gonna switch sides up and big hold, big squeeze. Good, and rotate. Flip over like a pancake. We don't wanna be, you know, done only on one side. Big squeeze up and back, really focusing, resetting that yourself. Make sure you're in that nice straight line. You can keep your head on the arm underneath you, keep that bent, support that head. So you have a nice neutral spine position. Make sure you're that belly button's pulled in up and big squeeze on those glutes. Hold it up there for that four count and then nice slow back down. We wanna be nice, slow and controlled. It's not about getting more repetitions in, it's about good activation, getting our brain to talk to our buns so good. Woo! I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling it already. 10 seconds. We're going to go to a glute bridge and you can grab a band because we're going to be pulling that band apart to warm up our backs. All right. So in that glute bridge, feet are flat on the floor, lined up with those knees, lined up with those hips. The elbows are going to be bent coming to the front of our rib cage with our palms facing our face, holding that band. You're gonna go into that glute bridge, big squeeze on those buns, lifting those hips up, back down. And then you're gonna pull that band apart. 
All right, you're gonna pull it apart so that those thumbs point towards the floor. That belly button stays in. You're gonna feel those elbows. Those elbows stay close to those sides. Don't let them pull away. Alternating between a glute bridge and then pulling that band apart, squeezing that back. Feel it working those shoulder blades. Good, this is a very important exercise to work on shoulder position. Help us stand up taller. Just make sure that that belly button stays in. You're not arching that back as you pull that band apart. Beautiful. All right, we're up to those feet. We're gonna stick that right foot on the floor. We're gonna take our left hand. We're gonna bend at the waist into a single leg touchdown. All right, so it's like a single leg deadlift, but the left foot stays right underneath that hip. We're sticking our butt back as a counterbalance. And then as we come up, that left hand is rotating. So the palm face is up towards the ceiling. So down, touching that right foot with that left hand, and then standing up, squeezing those glutes, working that balance. So pretend you're Vanna White and you're presenting the numbers, all right? All while balancing on one foot. Reach down with that left hand. Nice flat back, all right? These single leg touchdowns are very, very, very challenging, all right? If you need to, you drop one toe to the floor, just still keeping most of your weight in that other leg, all right? Switching sides. Left foot on the floor, bend that knee, nice flat back. And then that right hand comes up and across the body. You could even pretend you're pulling a sword from your, from your hip. Whatever gets you that, the idea of palm goes down towards that leg and then rotates up towards the ceiling. Shoulder stays out of that ear. You're gonna feel that working, that lower back, working good, what I like to call scapular mechanics. All right, really important if you're somebody that carries a lot of stress in your upper back. All right, making our shoulder position work. You're gonna see both of these movements later, not necessarily together, all right? I know we're starting to feel those booties work, right? Squeeze those glutes, belly button in. Five more seconds and we're going to two foot hops. All right, we've gotta to start to get that, that heart rate up. Two foot hops, feet pointed straight ahead, right underneath those hips. You're rolling from heel to toe, jumping and landing on those heels as quietly as possible. Nice and quiet roll from heel to toe when you land, all right? As you jump, you're squeezing those toes towards the ceiling. By landing on those heels, you're forcing those glutes to engage very quickly. You're staying nice and low the entire time. Belly button stays in. You're almost in like a quarter squat. Really focus on that good knee position. Knees right in line with those toes. Beautiful. You guys look awesome. Great form. Nice, slow, and controlled. 15 more seconds. And we're going in to our explanation of our very first round. All right, five more seconds. Keep it moving. Nice and quiet landing. Beautiful, you guys are going to that jog in place. Don't stop moving, all right? So first exercise, we have the two foot hops, just like we did in warm ups. We're 50 on, 10 off. Your next exercise is a strength and stability movement, right? We've got lightweight dumbbells. They're going overhead, you're stepping one leg back. The leg that's back, you're dropping that arm down into a shoulder press. And you're switching sides. Down, balanced, shoulder press. All right, let's start with those two foot hops, guys. We're getting that heart rate up and we're gonna keep it there for a little bit. Two foot hops, landing heel, toe, nice knee alignment, toes straight ahead, right underneath those hips. Try not to let those toes point out. Try to keep those knees right in line with those toes. Don't let let them go in. Feel those glutes starting to warm up. Woo! Keep going, guys. The further you jump, the harder it's going to be. The more you're going to feel it. Work those glutes. Challenge that knee position. We're under 10 seconds. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Keep pushing. Keep hopping. Almost there. Beautiful. Shake it out. 
grab those lightweight dumbbells. All right, get ready. Those weights are going overhead. Shoulders are staying down and back. Step back into lunge, come up and balance. That same side goes down into that, that shoulder press. All right, and then switch legs. Up and balance. That shoulder press is coming when we're working on that balance. If you are having a hard time balancing, all right, you go into that kickstand. Make sure those shoulders stay down and back. Glutes are tight. Belly button stays in. All right, we don't want that back arching in that shoulder press. Squeeze those shoulders down and back. Think about keeping that chin tucked towards your neck. The crown of your head is extended towards the ceiling. Two seconds. That's group number one, guys. Shake it out. We got two foot hops. Here we go. Two seconds. Let's get it. Hop it out, guys. Your nice, quiet bunnies hopping across your floor. If you're in an upstairs room, really listen. Focus on staying nice and quiet. A good, quiet roll, quick roll from heel to toe. Beautiful. Keep that belly button in. You guys look fabulous going back and forth. Beautiful. I love the distance, ladies. Knee position looks fabulous. Don't stop working. Don't stop moving. This is cardio. Warming up those glutes, working on that stability in those knees. Come on, under 10 seconds. Stay low. Force those legs to work. Let's get it. Beautiful. Shake it out. We're going back to that lunge with that overhead press. In three seconds. Shoulders down and back. As we step back into that lunge, we should have focus. We're trying to keep those feet hip width apart. Exhale as you push that dumbbell towards the ceiling in that shoulder press. The other arm stays up there. Work that stability. Work that balance. Beautiful. Let's go, guys. Keep pushing. Keep working. We're almost there. We got 12 seconds. Squeeze those glutes. As you feel those shoulders burning, keep them down and back. All right, focus on that form. You guys all have beautiful shoulder gaps, right? Loving the shoulder gaps, guys. Five seconds. We're going back to those two foot hops. Don't stop moving. Let's go. Keep that solid knee position, right? Try not to let those feet go wide. This is your last round on these. Make everyone count. You work, guys. Work that knee position. Get that heart rate up. Get low. Feel those glutes work. Those legs work. If you're not feeling it, push that distance. Don't forget to be quiet. Last 10 seconds. Almost there. Keep it up, guys. Push it. Work it. All with good form. <coughs> I love it. Yes, guys. Keep moving those feet. Overhead. Lunge with that alternating floor press, all right? Here it is. Up and over that head. Roll those shoulders down and back. Drive through that front heel, push it into the floor, squeeze those glutes, lock in for that balance. Guys look really, really great. All right, keep working that balance, pushing to the finish line. Exhale, like up as long as you can. Balancing forces those glutes to engage. Uh, 10 seconds uh, on this total body uh, shoulder exercise. Come on, five. Can do for anything for five. Keep them up there. 
Beautiful. Keep those speed moving. You guys get a little break. Our next cardio is going to be on that left leg. All right. We're jumping and turning 90 degrees. Of course, the leg that's up. So 90 degree turn, stabilize. That right leg goes back into that lunge. 90 degree turn, stabilize, lunge. All right. Really challenging on that balance. Really challenging on that stability. All right. Left leg on the floor. Work that balance. 90 degree turn. Then into that lunge. All right. Really working those glutes. You're going to feel that left hip. Ooh, it's going to get fiery, guys. Try to keep that knee right in line with those toes when you land. This is not a high impact movement. It is a gentle hop, all right? Really work that balance. Bringing those arms out to the side is gonna help, all right? Keeping that chest up, toe, belly button in. Work that lunge form, because we're not flying through this exercise as we work on that stabilization. Woo, that bad boy burns. All right, because I didn't have time. We're kneeling, left leg forward, all right? That band is coming under that front foot and we're going into that, that uh, presenter arm, all right? You're gonna find that this band is not gonna be real heavy, all right? Lunged position, hands facing the shin, and then reaching up and across so that thumb points behind you, palm towards the ceiling. Belly button in, chest up tall, shoulder stays out of those ears. Feel it work that lower back, right? Feel it work that stability. You're not rotating that core. You're forced to squeeze that right glute and the left one, which is already fiery and angry, right? Good rotation on that hand, thumb back towards the wall, palm up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Shake it out. We got 10 seconds. We're going right back in to that left leg, single leg hop into a lunge. Here it is. 90 degrees and back. All right. That leg is going to get fiery. Don't stop working. Push that balance and stability. Work that form. Try to keep that good knee alignment when you land nice and soft. You guys look awesome. Beautiful work. Keep that belly button in. Work that position. Your whole quad should be on fire now. Under 10 seconds, keep working, keep pushing. As you fatigue, you're gonna feel that balance, right? It's gonna start to wane a little bit. It's the fatigue, but we want those muscles to be pushed, all right? We wanna be reaching that point. Back into that lunge with that, that presenter arm. Holy cow, all right? Every time we're up and we're working that position on that shoulder, our glutes are nice and tight, all right? When we come up and we're reaching that palm towards the ceiling, everything is in a nice straight line. I don't want you rotating and opening that body towards that arm, right? The belly button stays pulled in. That right glute squeezes nice and tight. Feel that shoulder work. Feel that lower back work as you as you do that presentation, right? Or that sword, however you want to look at it. But you guys all look great. Beautiful shoulder position. Fabulous. We've got one last round of each of these. My left glute is on fire. Whew. I'm jumping because it helps shake it out. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's get into that last round. Work that balance just because we're on fire, right? We're embracing that burn. We're pushing to the finish. When we're on fire, that means we're challenging our body in new ways. That's how we grow. That's how we change. That's how we get stronger. 
work that position solid knee try to balance on that stability if you need to you tap that toe down to catch that balance beautiful work guys come on six seconds six seconds keep pushing we're almost there Ooh. oh my heavens Woo. feeling that right all right last round of that kneeling carry away arm make sure you're focusing on good rotation belly button in chin tucked crown extended tight glutes form first if you don't have a band at home i should have mentioned you can use a very lightweight dumbbell or a weight plate all right it doesn't need to be heavy on this one but bands are going to be really nice and challenging i should have showed you this before and even you can do these with with a small band if they're nice and light that one's a a light band and it's too heavy so you probably need an extra one all right up and across that body squeeze that right glute Whew. nice job five seconds and you're going to get a short break beautiful all right we're going to break it up on those feet keep them moving our cardio for this round is a lateral lunge so stepping out to the side toes knees hips nice straight line that leg is coming up into a skip then you're switching sides so out drive it up and skip work that balance on that landing all right then we have a single leg deadlift on that right leg just like warm-up except this time we're not doing anything with those arms all right lateral lunge to the skip out to the side making sure that when we do so we're stepping only as far out as those toes stay straight ahead bending that knee sitting nice and deep into that lunge then you land stabilize right we should be getting the idea at this point we're stabilizing today yeah all right work that balance work that stability nice soft knee if you're not jumping you're coming right up to those toes and then bending that knee to stabilize again all right come on 10 seconds I know it's not heavy, heavy cardio today, but we're still getting that heart rate up. We're still challenging. Nice job. Get that lightweight dumbbell. If you can maintain form on that single leg deadlift, right foot on the floor. The weight is going in that left hand, bending that right knee, nice flat back. The glutes sticking back is what's going to stabilize because that left foot stays underneath that hip. Brief discussion with one of you guys, having that sciatic pain, letting that leg go behind you can be a trigger for causing sciatic pain, all right? So that's why I keep this leg under the hips, not to mention that it's a lot harder and really challenging, all right? Bend at the waist, belly button in, try to keep that back flat as much as possible we're under 10 seconds that right glute now right gotta even things out Woo. beautiful shake it out back into those lateral lunge skips all right trying to find that balance of strength cardio and stability beautiful work drive that knee up heel toe you really want to challenge yourself swing those arms into that skip drive heel toe and then work that balance when you land all right belly button stays in you're bending at the knee it's a deep knee bend challenge yourself to to sink into it Woo. you ladies your lunges look fabulous beautiful depth We've got 12 seconds. Push it up there. Drive, stabilize. Five seconds. Let's go. Heart rates are high. Nice work. Shake it out. Get ready for round two of that deadlift. Whew. All right. Right foot to the floor. I find a lot of people in these deadlifts want to keep that leg stiff. That's going to prevent 
the back or the glutes from sitting back to stabilize. We want the glutes to sit back and stabilize as a counterbalance for our upper body and our head coming down forward, right? Only go as deep as you can maintain good form. You wanna keep that belly button pulled in, that back as flat as possible. You don't wanna round at the shoulders. Keep those shoulders squeezing down and back. Beautiful work. Those look great, ladies. Beautiful, great, slow and controlled movements. Woo. Yes, nice work. Hopefully you're feeling even with very light weights. Those bad boys are challenging. Lateral lunge skip, last round, let's go. At this point, my right glute, Woo. right? Keep it up, push that position. Nice, solid landing. If you're jumping and you can maintain that balance, show yourself how high can you jump. Push that position. Not crazy heavy cardio today. You've got to give it 150. Let's go. I love the depth. You guys have great lateral lunges. It looks awesome. Keep it up. Don't stop. 10 seconds. Drive heel toe. We're almost there. Let's get it four. One last one. Beautiful. Shake those legs out. Get ready for that last round. Single leg deadlift, right leg on the floor. You guys know now, right? We've done a lot of things on one side. We gotta keep things even. Exhale as you drive through that heel, stand up and squeeze those glutes. It's also really good. I know it can be really hard to keep good head alignment on these while trying to keep that chest up. So if you can challenge yourself to keep that chin tucked towards the chest and the crown of your head extended, not like rolled down or anything, but think of like a tall upper body, a neutral spine, five seconds. Whew. Beautiful. Shake it out. Next round, keep those feet moving. You got a 30 second break. Next round, we're on that right leg. That right leg's gonna hit you. We're going into that 90 degree turn, into that lunge. All right, so enjoy the break while you can. Then you're going into that kneeling banded, carry away just like we did on the other side, right? Five seconds. I don't know about you, but my right butt is angry. It's gonna get more angry. Work that stabilization, 90 degrees and lunge. Oh boy. Keep it up, use those arms if you need to. Work that balance. Stand it up nice and tall, little hops. Try to make sure that when you land, those toes go straight ahead. Nice, tiny hops. Beautiful, 20 seconds, guys. It's at this point in time, we're on fire. This is when we're challenging those muscles, challenging that stability. We're gonna gain so much from this. Come on, three seconds. Oh, shake it out, all right? Oh, I lied. We have a kneeling on those knees. You're gonna get that band behind you, all right? We're going into a chest press. So those arms are squeezing out in front of you. Glutes are tight. You're gonna go one arm at a time, drop it down, squeeze it forward. This one, if you have a heavier band at home, that's super. I have a red band. If you only have a small band, you're gonna take one arm behind your back and you're gonna punch that arm forward, all right? If you only have dumbbells, you can go down on the floor into that chest press so that they're squeezing up in front of you and then punching one arm at a time towards the ceiling, all right? But if you have bands, you're engaging that chest, 
Perfect. Beautiful job, guys. All right, back up onto those feet, five seconds. We're going back to that right leg, 90 degree hop. Stabilize and then into that lunge. Beautiful work. Chest up tall, work on that stability. Aren't you glad it wasn't this, those carryaways? I am. Woo! Because those are challenging on the glutes as well, right? All right, let's go. Work that balance, work that knee position. It's hard. We're already over halfway done. Keep pushing that position. Keep that chest up tall. Squeeze that right glute every time you come out of that lunge. Three seconds. Woo! Shake it out. All right, and then we're going back to that kneeling, alternating chest press. All right, lock in those glutes. Belly button stays in one arm at a time. Now, really important side note, because we're keeping those arms in front of us and engaging that chest the entire time, make sure those shoulders don't creep up to those ears. Keep them down and back. Exhale and squeeze them forward. Feel how in that kneeling position, those glutes are forced to engage. As you're doing that alternating, you're working that core so you're not rotating with that one arm at a time. It might not feel like a lot, but it's really, really good for our back and that core. Three seconds, just a couple more reps. Woo! Beautiful. One last round, guys. One last round of those single leg hops. Woo! Here we go. Jump and turn. Working on good knee position. Since these are a little bit slower in those lunges, really focus on those feet stepping back, staying hip width apart. You're gonna find you have much better balance if you step that leg straight back so that it stays in line with those hips. Since we're on video, I know you can see yourself. Pay attention, work that form. Feel it working that quad on the inside of that leg. If you've got good knee position, Woo. the whole leg is on fire. Let's go guys, almost there, two seconds. Oh yeah. All right, get ready. Get that band ready onto that floor. Belly button in, squeeze those glutes, press those out in front of you, roll those shoulders down and back. One arm at a time. Challenge that whole body to stabilize. You may find that if you tuck those toes under, it's easier to engage those glutes and stay up nice and tall. Keep punching one arm at a time, pushing, engaging that chest with that arm that stays straight squeeze and pull those hands back together. 10 seconds. We're almost there guys. Five and we're getting new exercises. Woo. Beautiful. Back up to those feet. Don't stop moving. Get a drink. You've got 30 seconds. Our first cardio movement and stabilization is kind of like skaters. They're lateral jumps, but you're going to hold in that position. Lateral jump, hold. The farther you jump, the harder it's going to be to stabilize. All right, work good ankle position, good knee position. Then the next round, you have that kneeling carry away, right? Present your arm that's banded. All right, lateral jumps, kind of like skaters, slowing it down a little bit as you stay nice and low and work that stability, right? Lock in, keep that belly button pulled in. You'd be amazed by how much that helps that brain talk to those glutes, stabilizes that core, use those arms. If you're low impact, you can simply step 
You don't have to jump. If you can jump, go for it. All right. Nice and controlled movements. Working that stability. hand is rotating palm towards the foot and then palm up towards the ceiling shoulder staying down and back again my left foot is turned under all right this helps engage that left glute really focusing on good controlled movements don't let that shoulder squeeze into that ear Everybody likes a good thigh gap. I like a good shoulder gap, right? Palm up towards the ceiling. Lock in the glutes. Lock in the belly button. Work that stability. Five seconds. Beautiful. Back up to those feet. Those are your two exercises. We're getting down to it, guys. Beautiful work. Let's go. We've got one group after this lateral jump hold. The further you jump, the harder it's gonna be. Lock in, work good ankle stability. If you are somebody who tends to roll your ankles, these lateral jumps are so good to help that ankle stabilize, right? Help that foot learn to balance. If you're home and you can go shoeless, this is a great opportunity to do so. Come on, 10 seconds. Almost there. Work your body position. Work that stabilization. All the while getting that heart rate high. Let's go. Beautiful. Whew. That's it, guys. Nice job. Get ready. Back into working. Healthy shoulders. Healthy back. Like I said earlier, if you're somebody, well, no matter when you're doing this, whether you're stressed, for us, it's the holiday season. It can be a very stressful time of year. 2020 has been whoo, a heck of a stressor. Working on that good shoulder position can really, really help upper back pain neck pain, headaches. We got 15 seconds, guys. Let's go. Belly button in, squeeze those glutes, lock in, focus on that arm position, palm up towards the ceiling. Oh yeah. One more round of each of those. All right. Almost to the finish line. Here we go. Lateral jump and hold. Pick up that pace only as long as you have enough time to stabilize. Get that heart rate high by challenging your body to stabilize. Push that distance if and when and where you can. You guys look awesome. I love your pauses. Yes, beautiful stability, great hold. This may not be our crazy high intensity jumping workout, right? Or heavy, heavy weights. But I hope you're feeling it in those glutes under 10 seconds. Work that position. Almost there. Push to the finish line. Nice job. One last round of that lower back work. Stabilization. Whew. Making sure, again, really important.
bringing it across the body. Beautiful work, guys. Great shoulder position, making sure that that shoulder stays down and back. Big gap. Beautiful work, guys. Almost there. All right. I was right. I promised you guys bird dogs. Get up to those feet. Keep those feet moving. We're taking that tennis ball if you have one, hitting that quadruped position. That ball is coming to that lower back, belly button in, and you're lifting opposite arm, opposite leg. This is not about reaching as high as you can. It's about thinking about making yourself as long as you can and keeping that ball on your back. Then we have that left leg, single leg deadlift. All right? Bird dogs, reach long. That hand, whoop, that hand that goes up towards the ceiling, that thumb is rotating up, all right? Big squeeze on your glutes as you extend that arm and leg. If you're having a hard time keeping the ball on your back, if you have one, you can then eliminate the legs and just do those arms. Keep that belly button pulled in. Keep that back in that neutral position. You don't have a ball on your back. Just pretend you have a martini glass. No one wants to spill their beverage. Beautiful work. Grabbing that lightweight. Left leg glued to the floor. We're going into that single leg deadlift. All right. Bending at the waist, belly button in, keeping that right leg right underneath that hip, only going down as far as you can while keeping a good, healthy back position. Flat back, belly button in, bend the knees, bend at the waist, stick those glutes back as a counterbalance. Beautiful, nice work. Think about driving that heel through the floor. Stand up and squeeze those glutes. This is the last group. Embrace all the hard work you've done today. You've come too far. We're not giving up now. We're pushing to the finish together. Our buns are on fire. Nice job, guys. We've got... not towards the ceiling, it's making yourself nice and tall. Remember, those hands are underneath those shoulders, knees are right underneath those hips. Flip those toes under so you can engage those glutes. Belly button in. You guys look fabulous. Great control, great work, I love it. This is awesome, beautiful. Again, if you're somebody with scoliosis or sciatic, any kind of lower back pain. These are a game changer. You can keep that ball on there, man. Game changer. Left leg into that deadlift, here we go. Bend those knees, work that balance. Nose pointed towards the floor if you can, as long as you can keep that back nice and flat. Exhale as you squeeze up. Squeeze those glutes, ladies. Summer buns, here we come. It's never too early to start working, right? Or if you're driven because it's holiday season, right? Don't let those cookies go to your belly. Don't let them go to those glutes. Big squeeze, 10 seconds. Almost there. Yes, you can. Burn so good. Woo! Nice job. One last round of each of these. We're going to that cool down and stretch. Everything's on fire, guys. Woo! All right. Remember, lock in. Squeeze those hands into the floor. 
Man, every time I lift that left leg up towards the ceiling, my glutes are tired. Work that stabilization. If you've got that ball on your back, challenge yourself to keep it there. Try to keep that nose pointed right towards the floor. Drive through the hand and the foot that stay on the floor to keep that back stable. Beautiful work. Let's go belly button in. Engage that natural girdle. That's the way to the, the flat tummy. All right, one last round of that single leg deadlift. This is it, we finish strong. We finish together. We finish stabilizing those hips, those knees. Exhale as you drive up through that heel, squeeze those glutes. Again, keeping that belly button pulled in. We've got less than 30 seconds of work. Challenge yourself to stabilize. We're almost there. Nice job, guys. We're on fire. Keep working hard. We're almost there. Under 10 seconds. Finish strong with all you've got. Nice job. Beautiful work, guys. Get a quick drink. Not our heart rate shouldn't be too high as we go down into that foot on them stretch. All right, we're gonna start off on those feet, toes pointed straight ahead, left heel in line with those right toes, slight lean towards that left leg, squeeze those glutes under, feel that stretch right through the inside of that thigh. Lots of glute work and we're not done squeezing yet, right? Because if anybody, any of you who stretched with me in the past, you know there's still a lot of glute squeezes ahead of us. But these are stretching really important muscles that help release muscles that pull our knees into a bad position, which again can cause lower back pain. We're switching sides, leaning into that right leg, big stretch down through the inside of that thigh. Chest staying up nice and tall. Beautiful work. As always, you may feel this on one side more than another, perfectly normal. If you feel that holding it for that 30 seconds is not long enough, then go back and do it again at the end. A couple more seconds right here. And we're going to that kneeling hip and quad release stretch. Toes are tucked under 90 degrees on those legs. We're squeezing the glutes under, tucking those hips towards those ribs. Belly button stays in. Feel that stretching right through the front of that hip, going down the thigh. If you want to increase the stretch on that hip, go ahead and reach that hand on the same side as the leg that's back towards the ceiling, as long as you can keep those hips under. And then if you, need, if you can, get a slight lean over to the side. Again, every progression, you should feel a deeper stretch. If you don't feel a deeper stretch, don't add on the progression. Make sure those shoulders stay out of those ears. Glutes are nice and tight. Oh, it feels so good right through the hip. Good, and switch sides. Tuck it under. Belly button stays pulled in. We're keeping good posture when we stretch. If we fall out of posture, in these positions, like if you push forward, you end up stretching some muscles, but aggravating other muscles, right? Yes, we're squeezing the glutes, but keeping this good posture is a great way to um, reinforce good posture in our standing. As much as we can, we wanna keep that belly button pulled in, have our brain talk to our natural girdle muscles so we can stand tall and always support that back. Couple more seconds right here. Good, we're going to that child's pose. Hips falling back towards those heels. If you can, you can fall all the way down to the floor, feet flat, reach those shoulders away. Shoulders should go down and back as you reach those hands. And again, making yourself nice and long, allowing that back to round. 
you should feel this all the way down the outside of those shoulder blades into that lower back as you round that position. Exhale and sink nice and deep into it. Big stretch. Beautiful work, guys. All right, those hands are coming wide. Elbows to the floor. Roll those shoulders down and back and then push that chest towards those knees, towards the floor. Feeling that stretch across the front of that chest, but really making sure that we're not having any kind of tingling or burning sensation in those hands. Hands should stay nice and relaxed. You should feel that stretch through that front of that chest. Squeeze those shoulders down and back. Deep breaths. Wonderful. We're actually going to lay on our stomachs now. We're going to go to a sleeper stretch. That leg is going to come up in front of us. We're off to the side in a 90 degree angle. All right. And then we're going to squeeze those glutes and push those hips to the floor, making ourselves as flat as possible. All right. You want to be nice and flat. You're going to feel this again on the inside of that thigh, possibly into that, uh, the back side of that leg. This is a muscle that can get awfully angry when we do a lot of glute work, a lot of stability. A couple more seconds, squeeze the glutes, making yourself nice and flat, pushing towards the floor. Good, and go ahead and switch sides. I'm gonna spin around, trying to keep that 90 degrees. You may feel this, like my left side is way tighter than my right. Totally normal. Trying to keep those hips flat. Think of like the limbo, <laughs> right? You guys did absolutely fabulous today. I hope you enjoyed challenging yourself with balance and stabilization and you still got a great workout, I hope. Make sure that after your workouts, you're eating plenty of protein, 25 to 40 grams every single meal, all right? Lean meats, refuel with good healthy fruits and vegetables and as always drink lots of water all right you guys looked great today you looked strong i hope you're feeling awesome if there's anything you ever need never hesitate to reach out to me i'm always here to help you out all right great job